Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to all my viewers. Uh, welcome to my channel. I am going to explain uh, the multiple mediation analysis in this video. What is the multiple mediation analysis? In the, my previous video, I have shown you how, uh, how we can perform a simple mediation analysis in Smart PLS version 4. So let's go to the Smart PLS version and uh, I have a uh, base model here and uh, prior to perform a multiple mediation analysis I have to make its copy and rename it as a, a multiple mediation analysis multiple mediation analysis we will save the copy of our base model and after that we will ch change the model according to our requirement uh, like uh, uh, multiple mediation for multiple mediation I am going to uh, retain to the two uh, mediators and one uh, dependent variable so I will delete here the moderator effect uh, the first mediator effect and, uh, and these two mediator will remain here and just I uh, let me delete the second dependent variable first we will discuss there in single IV to DV effect with the two mediator but in next coming video I will show you how we can uh, do uh, with the two dependent variable and two mediators uh, the process is the same uh, as we uh, as I have discussed in my previous video uh, that uh, first we have to check out the uh, individual effect of each mediator on the the path between the independent IV to TV and the second mediator is will be work in the same lines uh, IV to dependent TV is the our direct path and uh, for me if I assume that uh, this mediator is my mediator one and uh, this is the second mediator mm, uh, it is a second mediator and the for indirect path if the IV's impact on mediator uh, 1 is A and mediator 1 to DV is B the indirect path will be indirect path will be A into B and if uh, the um, uh, second for the second mediator IV to mediator 2 the path can be named as C and mediator B to mediator D this path will be renamed as a media uh, D and the indirect path in this case will be uh, C into D yeah, the uh, in the uh, small PLS uh, I will show you there are two option uh, there will be a total effect and for specific indirect effect when we will talk about the specific indirect uh, effect uh, the path uh, will be shown uh, on the uh, the indirect path from IV to mediator to DV and for total effect the overall uh, mediation effect of the these two mediator will be shown on the uh, DV uh, through their total effect uh, the process the same uh, as I have discussed in my simple mediation analysis uh, that we are concerned here for indirect path significance and if the, in the indirect path is significant we will can say that there is a, a mediation effect um, according to your uh, literature theory what you have uh, hypothesized in your uh, research work so I am going to calculate the uh, directly the results and uh, I will directly calculate the PLSCM board stamping that I want to calculate the path analysis uh, with their probability values and uh, let me delete here uh, this is boot uh, stamping setup uh, it will it should be remain the same there is no need to change if you want to increase the boot stamp some time when you have a complex model then you can change the boot stamping sub samples uh, increase the value of 5000 to 10000 or maybe any other value but it is recommended that the 5000 enough for a simple model and uh, weighting scheme we have changed from factor to path analysis we required a standardized result the data is already in uh, uploaded here uploaded here uh, just I will click on the start calculations uh, in the complex model uh, as I told you earlier that the for complex model the bootstrapping takes some time but for simple models it will take almost uh, less than uh, less than a minute to execute the uh, analysis
here are the results uh, in the uh, first uh, window you can see here uh, this is our uh, basically output in the first uh, when we execute the calculations uh, the results uh, are shown on the diagram is the actually the p-value for the model uh, setting you can change the values on your given uh, uh, these uh, values you can zoom out or zoom in uh, they have incorporated the new thing here uh, I think it is a visible now and uh, we will change in a model from path co with the path coefficient p-values when you work on the path coefficient p-values uh, the results will be uh, shown on uh, your inner model and uh, for outer model uh, just change it uh, p-value to t-value now uh, the auto factor loadings are uh, showing the t values of the each items uh, and it must be greater than 1.96 uh, and we have already done in a your uh, confirmatory factor analysis uh, here the two values are uh, changed their uh, settings so we will move the 0 0.20 and here and 0 0.3 in the last video I have shown that the 473 and 364 and their multiplication we find the 0 0.152 the indirect path value so uh, here in the first look on your uh, model you can see here that the uh, all path are significant all paths are significant mean the effect of IV to if a5 talk to you uh, IV effect on mediator one it is significant mediator one to TV is significant then IV to uh, mediator two is significant and mediator two to on dependent variable significant and the direct path is also significant and uh, if the direct path is significant then we can say there will be a, a partial mediation if this path become insignificant after incorporating mediators then this path uh, this uh, there will be a full mediation effect of the mediators so uh, we now go to the uh, our uh, tabulated value the first value uh, we are concerned is that the path coefficient uh, this is path coefficient are already uh, shown here like there is a 0 0.473 negative effect on the mediator one and uh, this mediator have positive effect on this and uh, its coefficient weight is a 0 0.473 and it is significant but all result will be shown also in your path coefficient table here here you can see that the uh, IV2 mediators uh, one that is named as a mediate, uh, MEDC uh, its effect is negative 0.473 and it is also significant the all paths are here actually uh, significant uh, which I have shown you in the uh, um, diagram so all paths are significant now uh, we are concerned with the uh, first of all uh, there you can see that the, there is a total indirect effect and specific indirect effect first you will you have to check out the specific indirect effect specific indirect effect are uh, basically the path like uh, in the first cases if I draw here the IV on TV and uh, what I have mentioned here that, that my first mediator one was uh, that uh, mediator C and this path IV to mediator this this path is uh, if I rename a into B and the a into B will be equals to 0.095 in this case and this will be a uh, significant this is this is showing that this is a significant effect on this and for the second mediator uh, if you incorporate mediator 2 or now this path uh, like I rename the mediator B and it is a C into D and C into D path will also is also equal to 0 0.215 and it is also significant so indirect path is showing significant the, it's mean that the for both mediators uh, have a, a significant effect uh, between the uh, IV to DV for total indirect path uh, you can see here the total effect total effect in that case they it calculate the overall effect of both mediator in this model and calculate the total effect that uh, uh, um, either the these mediation mediator both in combined have a total if significant effect on uh, DV or not so if the total indirect 
if I to, we can see here the its value 0 0.310 and it is a significant it means that the both mediator this will show that the both mediator mediates the relationship between the IV and DV now when you uh, are uh, writing your um, interpretation you have to first uh, like uh, you have to copy this diagram and uh, paste into uh, your uh, uh, word section uh, I think this these values are interchangeably here it will be uh, you have to change uh, you can change the values here uh, sometimes your yes, smart PLS uh, now allows you to change the coefficient setting setting mean uh, you can move your uh, coefficient values according to uh, your settings uh, like here you can move uh, forward or backward so uh, you have to copy this diagram and after that you have to uh, interpret these results uh, by copying and pasting into excel and after formatting first you have to discuss uh, in your writing uh, these uh, direct effects of all variables uh, that either IV's effect on TV and mediator is significant and insignificant and so on and then you will discuss the conditional indirect effect that is a specific indirect effect for testing the uh, uh, each and every mediator's effect on the DV so when you will write that the IVs have uh, effect on DV through mediator C is significant so uh, mediator C is a mediation has the mediation effect between IV and DV and similarly for second mediator you will write the same thing and finally you can also show the uh, total indirect effect and uh, can conclude that the overall uh, effect on the mediation effect was uh, significant so both mediators uh, have the significant mediation between the IV and DV so this was all about your um, multiple mediation analysis in the next video I will show you that how we can perform the mediation analysis with the two uh, dependent vari variable thank you very much